All right, I think we're live. Howdy, hey, I say. Welcome back to another stream. Now, today is a very interesting one, and if you're watching the VOD, well, let me just give you a quick rundown. So, we've got a Kickstarter. Uh, ugh, it's on the ground, sorry. Um, For the EpoMaker TH96. However, a couple things have been brought to my attention which are going to require a little bit of sleuthing. So, I'm going to be doing some investigative work to determine, is this the Epo Maker TH-96? Or is this something completely different? Now, stick around for that. That investigative work is going to be pretty entertaining, to say the least. But, why is this a Kickstarter? Why do we have this? Are we going to build a keyboard? Is it going to be good? All of these great questions are going to be answered soon, so stick around for that. Um, and if you're watching the VOD, I recommend skipping about five minutes ahead. Um, or if you want to chill out, uh, we're going to chill out for about five minutes and welcome everybody in. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Howdy. Hey. It's great to see you, all of you, looking at my stream. It's so wonderful to see you here. It's a nice little rainy day. I've got my window open, so hopefully I don't annoy my neighbors too much. Um, it's okay. If anything, we'll get back at Lawnmower Guy. Um, howdy, hey, howdy, hey. Uh, off to a great start. Somebody's already asking me if I like feet. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't really know how to, how to respond to that. Two days of stream in a row. I know. I know. It's a pretty interesting one. Two whole stream days. In a row, that's double the streaming I normally do per week. Hold on, let me go ahead and send an ad out to the Discord gang. We are live again. All right, at everyone. Bing bong at stream, ping bing bong. And boom, quite a few people just got annoyed. Let's go. Nice annoyed people. There we go. Waiting for the ice cream? Do we Are we giving away ice cream? Howdy, hey everyone. It's so great to see you here. Hey all you makers and crafters out there. That sounds like a pretty good greeting. Howdy, hey to all the makers and crafters out there. Are you a Minecrafter? Are you a maker crafter? Keyboard maker crafter? What about the TH80 and TH66? What about them? I'm looking at the TH96. Why have you been live so much lately? I'm just so lively. I'm I can't help being alive, Dad. Um, yeah, I guess. Would you still love me if I was a worm? Yeah, why not? Waiting on the mystery box from yesterday's stream. Oh, you bought a mystery box. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Everybody's got a little gambling addiction. All right. Live is good. Okay. All right. That's good. Live is good. Um, now, uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to take this stream yet. Um, how's unpacking and our furniture arranging? I don't have any furniture to arrange. It's quite unfortunate. Um, not sure where I'm going to take this stream yet. I've got a keyboard, right? And this is a sponsored stream by Epo Maker. Uh, they sponsored the stream so I could look at their TH96. They haven't told me what to say about it. They haven't told me anything. They were just like, can you please show it off in a stream? That's great, right? However, I also find it very interesting that um, this board is not exactly what uh, they're saying it is, but it also is in a way, which is very interesting. Um, now we're going to be getting into that real soon here. <laughs> so first things first, let's pull up the Kickstarter. Um, and let's talk about the Kickstarter just for a second. Let's talk about the Kickstarter for just a second. Let me add a, I think I can add a, don't want to do a screen capture. I want to do a window capture of Firefox. Maybe that did that work? I don't think that worked. Hold on. No, that didn't work. Um, hold on, hold on. There we go. We did it. Oh, do you see it now? 
Oh, that's so great that you see it now. Okay, cool. Why well, do you only see half of it, though? Huh. That's kind of weird. There's like a little window popped up in front of it. Oh. Oh, that's bizarre. What is going on? What? Huh? What? <laughs> oh, guys, are you are you seeing this right now? Wait, um, uh, professional streamer, by the way. Uh, hold on. Oh, okay, we did it. Saved. Nice. Okay. Now let me put me, oh, let me put me over here. All right, so let's talk about the Kickstarter a little bit in this very incredibly precise way of looking at things. Or, hold on, let me, this might be a better way to do it. Let me go over, hide that, go over here. Okay, now I've got me in the corner. Now, hold on. Bear with me, chat. Bear with me, chat. Hippio's a pro at streaming. Not gonna lie, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, now let me set this. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay. Did that work? No, that did not work. Hold on. Why? Oh, okay, that worked. That's not terrible, I think. It's above me for some reason, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh, I just need to move it down. Okay, guys, don't worry. We're pro streamers, guys. Check me out. Ready? Ready? Oh, wait. Hold on. Ah! Okay, we're pro streamers. All right, perfect. Done. There we go. So, oh, wow, this is so bright now. It's so great to see everybody here. So this is a Kickstarter from EpoMaker. And what's most interesting about this Kickstarter, I'll reveal later. But first things first, let's talk about it. Just surface level. It's the EpoMaker TH96, QMK, and VIA supporting gasket mounted mechanical keyboard. All that on paper, sounding kind of good, right? You're like, oh, gasket mounting, kind of good, right? You're like, oh, VIA, kind of good, right? Uh, CNC knob, kind of good, right? Okay, sure, sure. Um, oh, the chat is really hard to read. Oh, no. It's so white on white. I don't know how to fix that. I'm sorry, chat. I'm not actually a pro streamer. I'm a super amateur streamer. Okay. But I digress. Let's take a look at some of these bullet points here. Some of these bullet points. So they're saying it's gasket mounted. And let me just start. Uh, here's, here's how we're going to do this. Here's how we're going to do this. So I'm going to say things that this keyboard is. And then we're going to go through them later in the video and try and tackle those things to see if this is like significant or good or true. So I'm going to be putting this keyboard to the test. First things first, QMK and VIA support. I'm going to test that. Then we have gasket mount. I'm going to test that. Then uh, we have CNC knob. I guess I'll test that. Uh, it says wireless, so we'll test that. Hot swappable, okay, we'll test that. Um, oh, by the way, editor, cut all my ums, please. I'm gonna die saying um. Somebody says test if it's edible, so we're gonna test if it's edible and if we can eat it or not. And then last but not least, we're gonna test, is it an original design? Oh, you didn't think I was gonna throw that one in. That one's actually maybe the most significant part of this whole entire thing. Okay. But essentially what this boils down to is, do the gaskets do anything? Is this board actually what it says it is? Does it work wirelessly? Is it worth the money? Should you get it? Why is it on Kickstarter? Why does he keep Glarsa zooming? Guys, Glarsa didn't invent the manual zoom, okay? We still love Glarsa's though. Okay, anyways. So. Now let's tackle the Kickstarter. As we mentioned before, we've got the gasket mounted design. We've got the CNC knob. We've got the QMK via version. I bet you've never seen Hippio actually look at a uh, a website before on stream. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. Let me make sure it's actually going to come through to my stream. Um, visible on both stream and recording. Okay, cool. Cool. So the video, should we watch the video? Do you guys think we should watch the video? Set the page to dark mode. I don't know how to do that. 
take screenshot? I don't I don't know how to do that. We're looking at light mode. All right. Okay, let me watch the video real fast. I'll turn this to like quarter volume. Okay. Okay. Is this Cadelli? Oh. Proprietary software? No, no thank you. I do not want proprietary software. I would like Via and QMK. Okay, but why is the music just... It keeps getting louder every time. Sound absorbing silicone pad? I see a battery in there. I don't like that. Is that a gasket mount? Seamlessly tr switches? I see MacBook. That's kind of lame. Um... Three different modes, cool. Those hands look very small. Um, N key rollover, that, that's like in every keyboard nowadays. MDA profile keycaps, that's pretty cool. And special Epo maker switches. I wonder if I'm getting those. I, we're gonna have to check to see if those are in my board. Hot swappable, we like that. We like hot swappable. South facing, did they just listen to me on south facing? I've been telling them this for years. It looks sleek. Okay. Why is somebody spamming? Hold on. Why are you spamming? Let me just ban you forever. Goodbye. Okay. Hold on. Let me, uh, people's talk privileges have been revoked. All right, hold on. Do I need to, do I need to do another version of that? Uh, where I like really jam out to the guitar, um, for if I'm turning this into a video, hold on. Hold on. Um, wait, let me, I gotta refresh the page now. I need to jam out to the guitar. Of course? Okay, thank you. Oh, God, that was so loud. Hold on. Okay. It's in the void? I love the void. Support. Oh, is this gonna support my back? I have scoliosis. Proprietary software? No, thank you. Uh-uh. Silicone gasket mounted design? That's insane! Okay, I gotta be honest, that's about as much energy as I could possibly expend without giving myself a headache. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, about, that's about all I could do, I'm sorry. It's about all I can cat jam to. Oof, okay, hold on, we gotta take a second. Whew. Okay. Alright. Um, so it's a keyboard, guys, it's a keyboard. Bruh. Oh, bra call me Fim. Howdy, hey. Thank you so much for the two bucks. I appreciate you. Great to see you again on another stream. That's so cool of you to stop by again. So we've got a bunch of bullet points here. And we're going to talk about these bullet points as we go through the keyboard itself. So we're not really going to worry about that. Um, Now, this... Hold on. Guys, I need you to tell me something. I need you to tell me something. So we're looking at this, right? I want... Uh, chat? Okay. Chat, we're going to do... We're going to do a little bit of an activity. So you as a viewer and me as a streamer, okay? So I'm going to show you two images and you're going to tell me whether or not they look the same, okay? So I need everybody to participate here. Oh wait, oh, it's not playing my jazz, hold on. So I need everyone to participate here with me. Um, so I'm going to show you two images and you're going to tell me whether or not they're similar, okay? Are you paying attention? Are you good? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So here's one image. It looks like this, okay? Take this in, soak this up. <laughs> here's an image. You looking at it? You soaking it up? Okay, image number one. Now image number two. Wait, hold on. Hold on, image number two. Okay. All right, all right, image number one. Image number two. Okay, they're a little bit different, right? Image number one. Oh, pseudo Andrew, howdy, hey, thank you so much. 
I appreciate you watching my videos despite not understanding English. That's really awesome of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, image number one and image number two. Image number one and image number two. Image number one and image number two. You know that meme where it's like, that's the same image? That's kind of what we're looking at here. Okay. So. Now, some of you might know what's going on here. And this is just something I could not meant. Like, I, I can't. I can't go the stream without bringing this up. That this is the Dakaro board. Like, the Epomaker TH96 is from Dakaro. Like, D-U-K-H-A-R-O. It is. They are the same board. That's just. They are the same board. You look at them, you're like, wow, that is a very similar keyboard right there. Very incredibly similar. Um, now, some context here. I was doing research before the stream. Guys, aren't you proud of me? I'm actually doing research now sometimes. Oh, drunk on tacos. Howdy, hey. Welcome to the Watering Hole Gang. It is so great to have you here. In fact, I'm going to drink some water in your honor right now. Cheers. Now, I was actually doing research before the stream, which is something I very, so much rarely do. And now I found these similar appearances based on somebody that tweeted me. So shout out my Twitter, follow me at Hippiotech. Um, if you ever have some fun stuff, tweet it at me at Hippiotech. There's a little plug for you. Make sure you follow me. Um, I found these two boards. I found that they're incredibly similar. And I was like, hey, Epo Maker. I reached out to my contact. I was like, these boards are the same. Right? And they were like, no, they're not the same. They were like, they were like, they're very different. Keyboards, Hippiotech, they're so different. Now, I'm making a little bit of fun here. I essentially, what they said is they're the same factory. Um, and OEM manufacturing is, uh, I see it in chat. Um, it's what I was going to bring up next. Um, it's completely legal. Um, it's totally normal in a lot of fields to rebrand OEM stuff. However, because it's a Kickstarter, I feel like it's worth mentioning that it's not a unique product. A lot of times Kickstarter is used for innovation. Um, I have no problem with this at all, by the way. I'm just bringing it up so you can be more informed as a consumer. Um, if I had a problem with it, I would not have taken a sponsorship as a stream. Um, but I'm bringing it up to you as a consumer so you can know that this is not a unique product happening on Kickstarter. But what is unique and what I was going to bring up next as my next point is they have actually differentiated some stuff for the Kickstarter. Um, and what they told me was that they wanted to bring QMK and VIA support to this keyboard. Um, and the OEM did not support that. So that's what the Kickstarter is for. The Kickstarter is for bringing QMK and VIA support to this keyboard through a different PCB or something. I don't know how true that is. Um, they said they changed the PCB in their version. Granted, I don't think the prototype that they sent me is gonna have a different PCB. We'll s stay tuned for that, we'll see. I'll check it. Um, but yeah, so there's an informed consumer moment for you. Um, I hope you can make an informed consumer decision now. It's not like they're charging a premium for it either. It's actually, I think 10 bucks cheaper to buy it through Epo Maker's Kickstarter than to buy it through the sketchy um, OEM website. Yeah. Um, does anybody have any questions? Is that it? Everybody, are we all good? Are we all on the same page here? I think we're good. For the last time, it's clack. What? Consumer moment for consuming keyboards please don't eat keyboards i guess we'll test that if we can eat it later yes but does it thock we'll figure that out soon um will it be getting pizza making this stream unfortunately not unfortunately not okay looks like we're all on the same page there we go so the knob is really big and i'm excited for the knob but don't take that out of context um now a little bit of background about the kickstarter i would say this kickstarter is basically very little risk because it's a basically existing product for 129 bucks it gets you this keyboard um that's pretty good value for a fully built keyboard 
that's Bluetooth, hot swap, gasket mounted, south facing LEDs, foam modded. So if this thing is good, that's good value. That's actually really good value. Now it's not the most original value, but that's still really good. In fact, that's really good for 129 bucks for a full sized keyboard. I reckon it's plastic. Um, let me make sure that there's not like a special aluminum version that I just didn't get. Um, mm, okay. It was actually as cheap as 119 if you were in early bird pricing. So it looks like the pricing is a little bit variable depending on if you're an early bird or not. Um, so that's interesting enough. Hold on. Let me go ahead and real quick. I want to ah, I'm getting a foot cramp. I'm sorry. I'm getting a foot cramp. Okay. There we go. Do you know where Fenny went? I don't know where Fenny went. Not Dracoy. I'll see you in a little bit. Take care. It's 159 for via support. That's a good catch. Let me double check. Um. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. So the via support pops up at 159. So paying 159 for via support. That's a bit extra. That's a. Is that 20 bucks extra or 30 bucks extra? That's a bit extra. Yeah. Um, it says there's different available colors. I don't think it lets you just like choose. Um, it's a little bit expensive. There's 98 of 100 left for the VIA version. It looks like the cheapest version without VIA sold out. 30 bucks extra. Good maths. Maybe he went bankrupt. Maybe he did go bank bankrupt. Via is good, but I won't pay $20 for it. I guess it really depends on who you are. If you want full customization, it might be worth it. Might be quite worth it if you're one of those people. A little bit expensive. Hmm. I think it's, I think it's fairly priced, but um, we're going to have to put it to work. Fim, howdy, hey. Thanks for the two bucks. I appreciate you. Via QMK isn't wireless. Is that true? Hold on. I know Via QMK hasn't supported wireless in the past, but... Oh, yeah. Wired mode only. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have to remember all that when I talk about the board. That's an interesting development. It says wired mode only for QMK and Via support. Wired mode only. Wireless would be ZMK support. Interesting. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> says ANSI ISO layout, but I don't know where the ISO version is. Oh. Uh, it says right here, ANSI ISO layout. Pardon me. I don't know if that gives you an ISO enter or not. I don't see any versions with an ISO enter. I don't know if those are interchangeable. But uh, let's get to the bottom of it. Let's just break the board open. I've got it in front of me. I think uh, we don't need to spend any more time messing about with this. Oh, look, it's my desk. Uh, I need to make it brighter. There we go. All right. Let's get to the bottom of this then. Are you ready? I'm so sorry. I was trying to drink water and move my mic at the same time. I bonked you. Why are you still streaming at 2.30 a.m. German time? Because it's 5.27 p.m. Not German time. You know? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Let me do this. And this, and this. Are you ready, kids? Wait, where did I put it? Oh, I figured it out. Hmm. 
So, here's the keyboard. We've got a prototype of the EpoMaker TH96. Now we did some investigative work on the Kickstarter and now it's time to do some investigative work with the keyboard in front of us. This is to determine whether or not it is worth your money. A little bit about the box. Custom branded EpoMaker box. It says manufactured by EpoMaker. Now is this saying that EpoMaker owns the manufacturing plant for the other board? That's what they told me. So that could be true. It could be. We've got some addresses down there that I guess I could look up on Google. But uh, anyways. Uh, that's about all that's exciting and of worth on the box. We've just got the Epo Maker and then the board. Epo Maker owns the world. Oh. Epo Maker has actually purchased Hippiotech Enterprises. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Right off the bat, that's really pretty. I mean, it's a very nice yellow accent on that spacebar and enter key and escape. Um, I don't know why they keep the plastic cover on it. In fact, that makes it really hard to type on it. Every key feels the same. So I think the flex is a bit, I don't know, kind of a weird touch to, to plastic mod it like this. Like I can type, but I'm not really getting a lot of like feedback, you know? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, are these clone keycaps and I just don't know it? Oh yeah. Okay. With the plastic off, it's like an, it's, it's a keyboard. Are these clone keycaps and I don't know it? If they're clone keycaps, I'll riot. Um, but there is one novelty. I just hope that's not a clone novelty. Anyways, what's in here? Oh, okay. We've got a USB-C cable. We've got, oh, Solder King, howdy, hey. I just uploaded my first keyboard video inspired by you and now your life, coincidence? Probably not. Love your videos, man. Well, I appreciate it, Solder King. Maybe you could do all my soldering for me, as I don't solder. You could be the anti-hippia. Goofy, ah, cable. Okay, we've got a couple different novelties here, and I'll give you a little view of them. Uh, let me just get these set up in a nice little cute way, and I'll get a quick little, little B-roll shot of them. Oh man, hold on. There we go. Oh. So we've got a couple different novelties here. I'm not sure if those are clones or not. I can't be known to know every keycap set, but they look pretty cool. So that's good. Okay, anyways, we can move these out of the way. And USB-C cable. Uh, why is it? Oh. Okay. Let me move my chair forward a bit. Oh. Ah. Looks like Heavy Industries from Rama. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody said, looks like Heavy Industries from Rama. Let's see. Oh wait, I need to go back. Uh, let me do this. It's definitely a similar color scheme, but I need to know if the novelties are the same here. Mm, no, the novelties are totally different. 
Oh, we got a donation. Spoon, howdy hey. Do you plan on getting a gas 67? I haven't seen anything about it, but I'll have to check it out because people keep asking. Thank you. Okay, so color scheme wise, these are kind of cream gray novelties, which is a little bit different than these white novelties. So I would wager to say, wait, hold on. Does it also come with gray novelties? I'm a bit confused. Pre-order now. Let me look at the page. Oh, well, there's nothing now. Thanks, Rama. Okay. I'm gonna say it's not clones enough to be clones. Yeah. Anyways, let me close that Firefox page. Yeah. The novelties are totally different. The novelties are totally different. Okay. Magic moment, don't forget. I can't forget magic. Impossible. All right, there we go. Now that we've talked about that a little bit, let's talk about the keyboard. Guys, let's talk about the keyboard. Okay. Okay. So, let me get up here. Hi, how you going? I hope you're doing well up here. A nice look up my nose. You wanna look up my nose, eh? Okay, cool. Oh, that's right. Really made that way too high. Hold on. Oh, great to see all of you finally catching a stream. It's so great to have you here. That is awesome to have you here. All right, let me do a little B-roll shot and tell you a little bit about this board. Okay, so this board is available on Kickstarter right now for a record-breaking price of anywhere between 130 and 100 and I want to say 70 169 is the max this depends if you want it to have via support or not this board has an amazingly massive knob um <clears throat> absolutely gigantic big chungus of a knob i quite like it i'm gonna be honest with you as if any of you are familiar with the hippio tech channel you know i am quite fond of knobs um we really like knobs here don't take that out of context please now this knob is incredibly big it's cnc aluminum with a plastic feeling top i'm not sure if that's an aluminum top or not but it is aluminum it has a nice little click to it when you turn it which is very satisfying it also clicks down which is also satisfying uk viewers please stop taking that out of context this is just my aluminum knob please stop taking that out of context it feels great to click we love that volume knob some of you might know this is like an 1800 style layout um it's got 96 keys which covers the most of the numpad most of the numpad let me get some more b-roll of over here Now, what are some boards that this board might compete with? Well, it might be competing with some boards like the Keychron Q5, which is their new 1800. Um, that's coming in at a relatively similar price point, but that board is going to be aluminum or aluminum and will also have a knob. Now, the Keychron Q5 is a really good contender in this space that just kind of released. I haven't actually checked it out myself. Um, S85, howdy, hey. Thank you for celebrating 12 months. Um, it is south-facing LEDs. That is what the Kickstarter says. We'll be checking out the LEDs and the hot swap and all that soon. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting some B-roll. Now, these this keycap set that comes with it is very pretty, so we like that. Um, and the chassis itself is plastic. The Q5 has an optional knob. Yeah, it has an optional knob. This is the EpoMaker TH96. It's available at the link down below, and the Kickstarter is going for, well, until July 21st. It's already passed its goal of $10,000, so this board is already getting made. Um, I can't seem to figure out. They say it's going to be shipping late August, early September, which is incredibly soon, um, which makes sense because they're not really 
producing that much for it. I think just a different PCB. Um, so with a different PCB, the PCB will support VIA. There is also a cheaper version of it that does not support VIA. Um, let me get another thing. There we go. I want a, an angle like this. There we go. There's some more prime B-roll. Now, with any board like this, I want to make sure that it sounds good, it feels good, and it's relatively competitive in the market. I think the relative competitiveness, we've got that price-wise, it's priced pretty well. But whether or not it sounds good and feels good, well, I guess we're going to have to put that to the test pretty soon, eh? Don't worry about that, though. Let's check out the back. Now, checking out the back, we've got some interesting stuff, actually. Okay. So first things first is you notice a USB dongle right here that pulls out for 2.4 gigahertz wireless. This is if you don't have the VIA version. Um, we've also got these two stage rubber feet that flip out and then some non-stage uh, rubber on the bottom as well. Makes me wonder how I'm actually gonna get this thing open though. Um, also this whole thing is plastic, but feels pretty solid. I think that's because of the battery. I imagine the VIA version might be more hollow because you're not going to have a battery in there because it's not wireless. Now, something that is worth pointing out on this board is this incredibly interesting little back panel right here. Um, hold on. This little cutout has a button or a switch and we can flip it for the wireless version and it lights up. Look at that with full RGB. That is really pretty and really nice. There might be screws under the feet. I really hope there are no screws under the feet. Oh, the RGB went away. Oh, there it is. It's back again. So the RGB is incredibly nice. Um, Epic Gamer RGB time. It looks quite clean um, from a distance. Let me get a little RGB shot of it. Hold on. Hold on. RGB B-roll. There we go. Yeah, uh, there's a bunch of different modes for it, but they're pretty typical standard RGB modes. So if you're into RGB, there you go. It checks that box. So that's good for you. Um, okay. Now, what else are we rocking with here? So I'm going to turn it off as I don't want to use it wirelessly, but the option is nice. Now, how do we, it looks like it's, it pops off with clips on the bottom, I think. And, oh, oh, hold on. Do I just push really hard? I felt something there. Like it was, it was doing something. Or do we push the other way? Oh no, there's a clip right there. There's a clip right there. I probably shouldn't use my fingernails to peel a to peel clips, so I'm just gonna put those back on for now and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take those those clips off in a second. Let's check out some other features. Let's check out some other features. Okay. We're not gonna get too rowdy today. Alright. Now, stabilizers. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I take, hold on. All right, just give these a listen. Spacebar is not terrible. Oh. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, guys. Okay, so stabilizers would need work. But that's easy, that's easy. Let's check this out. Hold on. It's not that bad. So, oh, they're yellow. Why are they yellow? 
Oh my. That's kind of cool. Any y'all know why they're yellow? It's kind of cool. I wish I could prime to you, but I already used it. If it makes you feel better, I can't even get prime subs. So, um, honestly, there's not a lot of rattle going on here in the housing. They're quite stable. So literally, you could just shoot in a little bit of Permatex dielectric grease. Here, I'll give you a little pro tip. So first things first, I'm gonna take out my Hippiotech lube pouch, which is only available at exclamation point merch or via the link down below. It's a pouch, it's only like 15 bucks um, and you can put all of your keyboard modding supplies, you can put pencils in there. Um, I personally like this face of it, uh, it's pretty cool. So check it out, exclamation point merch, exclamation point merch, type it in the chat. Um, but anyways, in here I keep my little syringe with Permatex dielectric grease for stabilizers. Um, now I'll put one of these in the bottom left. It's just a little hobby syringe. Um, you can click the view products button if you're watching this as a video. So that'll be nice. And then we will just go back in. And I just basically shoot up with a little bit of syringe like that. Just a little bit, not too much. There's already actually some lube on here. So I don't want to end up over lubing them. Otherwise they'll just end up mushy. Um, but just a little bit and that'll probably help them out. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, my pouch is out of stock. Oh, that's actually really tragic. Okay, those sound, that sounds better already. That actually sounds quite perfect now. Wow. So, uh, here, editor, here's a, here's a little bit. Here's a Hippio tech tip on how to make your stabilizers sound not rattly with just one simple trick. Do your stabilizers sound rattly? Aww. And then show the rattly stabilizers. This is how you make them not sound rattly. And then, okay. Then you can cut to the other. Okay, perfect. There you go, editor. Keep it up. Proud of you. You're the best. All right. We're thinking of stuff on the fly, guys. There's some live Hippiotech action. Okay. Um, anyways, I could do that to the rest of this. If you guys want. Um, I think the left side was maybe rattling a little bit. So let me just put a little bit in there. A little bit in there, a little bit in there. That's probably good enough. Ah, still rattling a little bit. But it's better. I mean, it's a simple fix. It's nothing too complex. Oh wait, sorry, we wanted to see the, the switches. Oh, you guys wanted to see the switches? You forgot the stock sound test? That's okay, that's fine. Let's take a look at the switches. So, let's go bop and pull it out. Ooh, okay. So hold on, here's a confirmation actually. Here's a confirmation. Um, let me get a proper shot of it. Okay. So, why is that so dark? I need to, oh, let me just put the feet up. Hold on. Let me put the feet up and then there we go. Okay, so this board has blue hot swap sockets, which are pretty cool. And it also has south facing LEDs and five pin support. Those check all enthusiast boxes. Um, hot swap means you don't have to solder. So if you're new to keyboards, here you go. Uh, if you're new to keyboards and you don't know what any of that means, hot swap means you don't have to solder. 
five pin support means that you can use a lot of different types of switches in here without worrying and south facing leds means you can swap out the keycaps without worrying about some of them causing interference in your middle row so this checks every single box for enthusiast uh switch entry there we go i'm assuming that means ooh. hold on these switch i just looked at one of the switches i cheated they're incredibly pretty let's look so these switches are amazingly pretty. These are the specifically maybe recolored. Uh, let's look at the switches. Hold on. They say they're an Epo Maker custom switch. You're on 3% battery. That sucks. You should not do that. Okay. Well, number one, it matches my Pixel Comet desk mat, which is pretty cool. These are the Flamingo Switch and the... Uh, sorry, these are the Flamingo Switch. They are a linear with a palm stem. That means it's palm is the material of the stem. They've got a total travel distance of 3.8 millimeters, which is a little bit shorter than the standard 4 millimeters. Um, and they are 47... Well, hold on. They're a 60 gram bottom out. They're a 60 gram bottom out, which is pretty normal. Um, pretty standard spring. It's going to be heavier than your MX red linear switches, but then lighter than an MX black linear switch. So it's somewhere in that middle ground, AKA 60 grams of force to bottom out. Um, it also comes with a couple different options for switches. You could get the, um, here, let me show you the back. You could get the tactile switch, which is the and I'll put that up on screen right now. Um, the tactile switch, I can't review that because it's not in front of me. Those might be nice. Um, if it's from the same factory as these, they're probably pretty decent. So there you go. The They also come with an option of a semi silent linear switch, which I'm very curious to try. Those look quite interesting. Um, and that's about all I got in that respect for the switch options for this board. Okay. What is the sound that we keep hearing? Is it like a fiddle? That's my camera. Oh, hold on. Did you guys see that gasket performance? Wait, did you guys see the gasket performance there? Or is that just my desk? I can't tell. I think there's actually a little bit of gasket performance there. I'm holding the board down. So it's not squishing against my desk mat. There's like a little bit of something there. There's some gasket. Okay. Okay. That ain't bad. Okay. So now, since we're talking about the keycaps, let's talk about the keycaps. Um, hold on. Let's talk about the keycaps. These are MDA Profile V2. Similar to XDA, they are a flatter type of profile keycap. Um, they have a slightly higher top row. Well, maybe it's got like a little scoop up to it versus XDA. Um, so you get a taller top row and then a more uniform middle row. Um, it's an interesting profile to type on. It's definitely not my favorite, but it... It exists. Um, it's one of those things you got to try out, whether or not it feels good to you. They think it's more ergonomic or something. Um, that's preference, ultimately. Keycap style is preference. It does look super sleek, though. I think it looks quite sleek. I saw some people reviewing before you. Anyways. Um, we've got it. I think, honestly, the gasket performance is not doing much here, and I'm very curious to tear it open. Like, it's not a super harsh bottom out, but it's not, it's not like super gaskety. It's packed tight in here. It's packed really tight. Yeah. Packed very tight in here. 
Which is an interesting touch. I gotta say, that's an interesting touch. Somebody wants me to slap it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. Please? Okay. There, I slapped it. They said please. Is this the budget board he was hinting at? No, you'll know. You'll know when that comes out. Don't worry. All right. Let's sit back down. It's time to sit back down. Are you streaming on YouTube too? I am. Hippo, hey, do you have pets? I don't. I wish. Wish I had pets. Okay. Let's give it a quick little stock typing test sound. Thanks, airplane Brr. for making loud noises cole howdy hey thank you so much for the two bucks love you love you too thank you so much it's very sweet of you oh, wait why am i so far over the oh there we go perfect hippo needs a small cute hippo i have one and i lost him in the move i do not know where he went the og wooden hippo i don't know where he went genuinely i have to i need to look for him it's it's honestly got me kind of sad i don't know if i accidentally left him at the old place somehow or what um, let's give you a quick little stock sound test and then we're going to see if we can make it sound a little bit better and then we're going to tear it apart or actually in the order of the video I'm going to be saving the sound test for the end for the video but before we do that let's tear it open and see how it makes the sound okay and then for live I'll give you, a little, I'll give you the sound test live Okay, I'd say overall sound, not that bad. Overall feel, not that bad. These switches feel pretty good. I think the um, spacebar needs a little bit more tuning. Um, also, howdy, hey, Cole. I will not adopt you. Thank you so much, though. Um, and cheese cucumber salad, my favorite full-size keyboard. That's a tough one. I'm starting to dabble a bit more into full-size keyboards, and it's really hard to choose. There's starting to be some quite good ones. The market is heating up. I'm just kind of aimlessly typing, yeah. Um, sometimes I like to type what I am thinking, and sometimes I type secret codes to get free keyboards. Maybe. Who knows? Um, adoption is expensive, and kids are really expensive. You have to send those kids to college and stuff. That's lame. Brittany, howdy, hey. It's going. Okay, so overall thoughts. Typing feel. Judging this as like a $130 keyboard. Not bad. Um, typing sound. Not bad. Not great though. You know, I think there's a lot more potential in cheaper boards. Like you look at something like the NK, um, the NK65. You can get really good acoustics from plastic boards. All right. Yeah, maybe I hide secret codes in my typing tests, and maybe you have to watch my typing tests to see my secret codes to get free keyboards this whole time. Now, I think I can just peel this off with my man hands. Yeah. On this episode of Hippio uses his man hands to peel off the keyboard. Don't try this at home. I'm just really lazy. This is why we rock climb. Do you like wooden cases? I love wooden cases. My friend Toby, aka Barrett Creative, makes very good wooden cases. Hippio strong. 
How are your burns from the pizza? It's recovered mostly, actually. It, it peeled a little bit, but it's it's good now. Thank you for asking. Uh, <laughs> if you're strong. Okay, we did it, I think. Maybe? Do I have to take off the knob somehow? The bottom has come off. Ah! Aha! You guys thought it couldn't be done! Okay, no screws, I didn't break anything. That's just pure, unadulterated hippio strength. Thank you for watching my stream. Um, KBD wooden cases, I have not tried those, Cole, but how do you thank you. So this is actually really interesting. Um, it kind of just fits in there um, as a normal gasket mount, like it's, I think the top fitting on like this is really making it so it doesn't have much breathing room. Like it's fitting on too tight. And you need a little bit of breathing room in your gasket mounts, in my opinion. Um, but as you can see here, it's on also a lot of silicone. Like a lot of silicone. These are the little gaskets right here. Squish, 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 squish. Now, are those little gaskets doing much? Hard to say, really. I don't think they're doing much at all. Like, it's not like they're doing nothing. They're there, but this silicone is really high resistance. Like, you see how you're not getting much squish out of it at all, even with my super sharp long nails? Um, so yeah, eh, eh, it's a gasket mount. I, I call this like a GMMK Pro gasket mount, right? And then if you've seen my video on the GMMK Pro, which you can watch, I'll put it in the top right. Um, you get a gasket performance that just kind of is like a top mount or any other performance. It's not very unique. Cole, I've ran out of things to say, so here's five bucks. Well, howdy, hey, thanks for the five bucks. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody using the little super chat feature. That's so cool of you to be using the super chat feature. Um, hold on a second. Let me just, I gotta ban a couple people. There we go, save. If you would like to use the super chat feature at home and uh, have me read your message, then hit the little dollar sign button in the YouTube chat and I'll read out whatever uh, you say as long as it's not rude. So yeah, you can see the switches when it's taken apart like this. You can see the gasket mount when it's taken apart like this. Now let's do something fun and do this. The knob. Oh, it pops right off. Yeah, it's just a standard knob, actually. Uh, you could put any knob on here if you wanted to, it seems. Any type of rotary knob. Can you buy keycaps just for space, enter, shift, tab, etc.? Um, very rarely. Usually they're sold as kits. So. Oh, okay. We've encountered our first roadblock. That is three bits of wire, and I will pop these out. These are for the batteries right here. These two, those are for the batteries. And then this is for the knob. Um, that means that it's got a daughter board connection to the knob, which is quite interesting, and the USB port. So you're actually not sacrificing. Okay, I can't get this. So in this board's case, you're not actually going to be sacrificing some gasket performance to support the... Come on. Come on. Okay, let me, let me do this instead. You won't be sacrificing gasket performance for the USB port. There we go. Words are hard. There we go. Is this not pulling how I need it to? 
Is it glued in? There's no way it's glued in, right? Howdy, hey Cole. Thank you so much for the 10. What's your favorite, 75%? That's an interesting one. Okay, this weirdly feels glued in. Um, but Cole, my favorite 75% is the Niz Duo 82, kind of. But thank you for the 10, I appreciate it. This is feeling, I'm getting glued in energy from this. I'm getting glued in energy. Oh, also a gasket fell off, oops. I, I guess it fell off of this. Are you guys getting glued in energy? Because I am. I've encountered that. I have too. And I don't really dare rip. And I don't want to tug on the cables. Are those TTC sockets? Yeah, they're TTC sockets. Hmm. Okay. Well, I want to... As a very first step, I want to remove the silicone and see if it sounds better. I actually don't need to unplug this to remove the silicone. So I'm just, I tear this guy out. Bada bing, bada boom, he's out. And then I just need to plug these guys back in and then we're good. Um, and then we can test it. So plug these guys back in, you're back in, and you're back in. Why are you such a rascal? You rascal cable. Just go in, thank you. Okay. Oof. All right, so I wanna see if I get more gasket performance by taking out the silicone. Um, and let's give that a quick little test. So I've taken out the silicone and this is a, oh, I was filming that whole time. How long is that video? Bruh. Oh, that's such a long video. Oh man, I gotta keep it though. Would it be rude to say that spray lube enthusiasts are no bueno? Drunk on tacos, that's not rude at all. I've made a whole song on not spray lubing. All right. After removing the silicone, it's time to find out whether or not the gaskets actually give performance without the silicone and wow. Yeah, no, that is a noticeable different gasket performance. You can see a little bit is the case just bouncing on the desk mat. Um, but overall, you do see a bit of flex here. It's also a lot less harsh. Um, so I think they should include different density gaskets or maybe cut the thickness of the silicone a little bit to give it a little bit more room. Um, but let's figure out, does it sound better without the silicone? We've come full circle here on the Hippio Tech channel where some boards are actually better without the dampening. Uh, let's pop this on. Okay. No shot. Oh, we're gonna have to take this back off, you guys. Okay. All right. Now that we've done that, it's all back popped on. Will it sound better? Mm. Oh, goodbye knob. Where did it go? <sighs> okay. There we go. All right. Now. Now, now, now. Will the keyboard sound better without silicone? Place your bets down below. Make a comment right now. Will it sound better? Okay, you made the comment? Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Brrah! Oh, S85B50 engine, howdy hey. Could you YOLO it or unscrew the daughter board? Maybe? I That kind of scares me though, honestly. Kind of scares me. Brrah! Um. How many keyboard do you have? At least a hundred, Cole. But howdy, hey, thank you so much. At least a hundred, maybe more. And then into the abyss, thank you for 12 months of the watering hole gang. I appreciate you so much. You're old now, thank you.
there's 12 months of water drinking for you. All right, let's give it a little sound test. Okay, well, now we've seen why they include the silicone, um, and it's because it sounds not very good without it. <laughs> In my opinion, it sounds a lot clackier um, to me. I think if you wanted this board to sound clacky, then that's probably the play. Um, you just bought the Epomaker TH66 bare bones to build. How would you recommend this keep so far? Um, It's not bad, but it's not blow me away good like as far as custom enthusiast stuff goes it's budget like it's very budget um and that's fine i think it, it'll serve a niche that a lot of people need it's nothing quite unique I'm strong. Okay, there we go. And then let's just pop it off over here. Ah, uh, why did we decide to do this again? Wait, how long have I not been recording for? Hold on. How long have I not been recording for? Famous last words brought to you by Hip Your Tech. Hold on. Hold on. Did I? I swear to God, I do this every stream. Let me. Let me just. Okay, sort by date. Okay. What's today? Should be down here, right? Hold on. Are you ready? Hold on. No. Somebody. No. No. Uh. Say it ain't so. Two box. I need to make it brighter. No. No. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well, I forgot to record a ton of this, so that's awesome. So I was I was recording different things, right? I forgot to record my stream side. Uh I love being a content creator. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got a little bit of footage for this bit. Ow. Oh. Did I just like scrape my thumb open by doing that? I guess we'll find out if it bleeds. Famous last words. Okay. I'm gonna put the silicone back in now. Anyways, we lost a solid like hour of footage. I don't think it's worth tape modding this, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. It could be worth tape modding. But, wait. There we go. But honestly, I don't think it's that worth tape modding. Like, You've already got such a tight space in here. I think tape mod is just going to make it worse. Okay. There we go. At least my investigative journalism part recorded. 
the actual keyboard part didn't record at all. So that sucks. All right, with the silicone back on, we can put this back on. When is the Delight keycap set coming back? Did it sell out? That's unfortunate. How about a different dampener? We could. Okay, let's pop this back on. Yeah, as you see, it's like very tight to pop on. All right, editor, maybe like when I'm taking it off and such, you can like stitch that back in to uh, the other part of the video. I don't know. <laughs> Reuse a bit of footage. People won't know. Famous last words. Okay. At least I have a bunch of B-roll from my camera that I forgot to record. Anyways, so with the silicone back on, here's what it sounds like. Generally, I don't like tape modding keyboards with batteries. So I'm not really gonna tape mod this keyboard because it has a battery. Um, that's a separate point uh, to the sound of the board. The board sounds okay. The board sounds okay. Now, here's what you're probably wondering. You're probably wondering, Hippio, do I buy this board on Kickstarter? Well, this ultimately comes down to personal preference. A board like the Keychron Q5 is going to give you a aluminum board experience for a similar-ish price. Also QMK and Via support on the Keychron. A board like the Iconix boards is going to give you really unique design, but it's also more expensive. And this is going to be the cheapest offering that you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for because it's a Kickstarter. Um, it's not bad by any means. The south-facing LEDs is good. The hot swap is good. The switches are pretty decent stock. Um, the board doesn't blow me away, but it's also quite fine. I think most people will be fine with this. It's what we call preference in the business. Um, I think the QMK Via version might have a lot more potential in that you don't have batteries taking up space in there and you can do what you want with it to make the acoustics sound a little bit better yourself. So it might be more fun to play with. Ultimately, it's your decision. Now, Let's get back to the uh, the investigative work that we did earlier. Do I think that's a problem? No. Ultimately, I think it's fine to rebrand OEM things. Apparently, it's them rebranding their own OEM things, and that's totally fine. So, the board is what it says it is, ultimately, and that's what you're getting. Uh, it's worth mentioning, my prototype does not have QMK and VIA, so I am not able to test that out. So that's a bit of a bummer, uh, but it's going to have it is what they say. If it doesn't, then that's going to be a bit of a disaster. Where'd you buy that desk mat? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This desk mat comes from kineticlabs.com and it is the Pixel Comet desk mat, my own design. Wow, that's so crazy that you asked. Cole, howdy, hey. I'm almost out of allowance money. So last question, what's the deepest, talkiest sounding switch? That is an illegal question to ask here, but since you gave me $20, I will answer it without too much sarcasm. So howdy hey. <laughs> um, as far as deep thought goes, a keyboard is the sum of all of its parts. So all of the parts that you put into a keyboard are going to give it the thought that you're looking for. Not just one switch, you know. <laughs> uh, in general, you lube a switch more, it'll sound deeper. I like... There's a lot of different opinions on thocky switches. And it's kind of, you know, the the deepest thockiest switch actually isn't even made anymore. Uh, in my opinion, it was the Boba Thocks, but he stopped making them because they were so scratchy. Um, but yeah. Is the Duroc L2 linear any good? They're not bad, I like them. They're quite decent, yeah. Can you name a few you'd go for? I, I, 
I really don't want to because then people will be like, but Hippio said this is the Thaki switch. And it's like, that's not quite how this keyboard hobby works. It's like, you put one switch in a different keyboard, it'll sound totally different. Like, that's not how keyboards work. Hey, you're misunderstanding the, the assignment if you think there's one switch that's just the thawkiest switch. But if you want my true answer, it's electric capacitive boards, like Niz Plum boards. It's not a mechanical keyboard. Electric capacitive boards sound deeper and thawkier than any other keyboard is going to sound. Um, and that's just a theory, a hippio theory. Yeah, I don't want that situation where it's like, oh, but this YouTuber said this is the best thing ever. So I'm going to think blindly and not listen to anyone. Uh, ignore the hand movement. That's unrelated. Um, but yeah, ultimately with this EpoMaker TH96 thing, I think it's a decent thing. I think if you go for the Kickstarter, it's not a bad idea. Um, that's That's my final verdict. It's not fantastic, but if it checks the boxes for you, you're not making a bad choice. It's not a scam. It's not a cap, as the kids say. Um, yeah. Building a bongo cat keyboard with Jwix and Josie keycaps. That's brilliant, Casey. I love that you called them Josie keycaps. That makes me really happy. Um, they should make a novelty ceramic keycap that's a toilet. That'd be funny. That would be. You should start a podcast. Prove me wrong. Maybe, maybe with switch and click. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the keyboards have that big of an appeal for a podcast, you know? I don't think that's that big of an appeal for a podcast, the keyboard thing. I have Josie keycaps. That's great. That's great. I'm just going to sit here with the keyboard as I think it makes just it more visually interesting to watch my stream. Ugh. <sighs> Do you know how the Niz Micro 82 compares to the Duo? No, I don't. Hardest part of building a keyboard? Not building another one? <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like that is the hardest part of building a keyboard. Guy streams with big knob out. Oh, censor that. Censor my big knob. Oh, oh, please. I can't show my big knob on camera. Oh, no. Censor that. Ah, ah. Editor, please put, put blur on that. There you go, editor. There's something for the intro. <laughs> uh, it's having enough money? That's fair. That's fair and valid. There you go. Big knob. Big aluminium knob. Big aluminium knob. Big aluminium knob. Big aluminium knob. There's another bit for the intro. Maybe that's maybe that's what you want to put in the intro. Who knows? Just a guy saying big aluminium knob over and over again. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, I think that's the end of the stream, you guys. I don't think there's that much else uh, to, to go on about today about this keyboard. It's a pretty simple keyboard. It's We checked out the Kickstarter. We scoped it out. You can get it now on Kickstarter via the <laughs> link down below if you're interested. Cole, howdy, hey. You take care. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not actually adopting you, but thank you so much. Anyways, that's the that's the stream today. I hope you guys are... Uh, I hope you have the great rest of your week. I might have a video tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I definitely won't have a video tomorrow. I don't know why I said that. Um, I might have a video next Tuesday. There we go. We did it. I might have a short tomorrow. That's what I meant. There we go. You know, you guys love those YouTube shorts. So anyways, if you stuck around, hit the subscribe button and you'll get an extra howdy hey. So are you subscribed? Did you hit it? Did you hit the subscribe button? Did you do it? I'll wait. Oh, you did it. Okay. Okay. Howdy hey. All right. Bye. Hmm. <sighs>